Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Tumult Royale, which is a very fun little real-time tile snatching game, not necessarily a tile laying game, uh, just a resource collection and reallocation, territory acquisition area control kind of thing, and it works really, really well. Uh, Jen and I, we played it both as a two and a four player game, and I'll be honest, I think we actually enjoyed it more as a two player game. We played it as a four, and we thought, okay, yeah, that was nice, and you know, certainly there's a lot more interesting stuff going on with the... Uh, the, the ranks with four players actually trying to grab first on, on all the terrain that's out there. But with two player, I don't know, maybe it's the fact that there is a smaller pool of resources that is available right from the get go and you can do a little bit more um, planning and a little bit more critical thinking during the actual grab because there's less stuff to go around. Um, and uh, while at the same time there's still just as much uh, need and demand from the people. So if anything, I mean, it's, it's a, I guess it's a bit more chaotic with more players because there's just so many more variables to try to keep track of when you are under the intense time pressure of digging, trying to find all those tiles as fast as possible. Plus, I gotta say, I really do like the notion that unlike a lot of games like, uh, say, Galaxy Truck or real-time tile snatching games, once you pick them, you put them back down face down. You don't put them face up. So, um, there, I mean, I'm not saying that's inherently better or worse. I mean, obviously with the other games, uh, over time, there becomes a bigger and bigger collection of stuff you can just see and grab but for this game because there's not very much to begin with you um you you don't get to have that all-encompassing look at oh every time somebody um passes on something they even face up so it's easy for me to grab um it's interesting Normally, Jen and I, we really don't like memory in games at all, but this features a memory element in a couple of ways. One, once the timer starts, like I said, it's very, very easy, um, unless you've got a mind like a steel trap, to pretty much instantly, right, what did I need? How many did I need of these? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. I just, okay, I'll start grabbing. You know, you go in with all the best plans and you're trying to think, okay, right, um, two tools, three marble, two tools, three marble, two tools, three marble, and then once the timer's like, ah, did I need food? I don't remember. Oh, okay, I'll just grab one, just be on the safe side. Ah! And um, that, that's, a, that's a really fun, uh, exciting thing. And then the actual building, I mean, every, every one thing that's really, really very smart about this design is, I mean, it is completely drowning in catch-up mechanisms too. Uh, you know, from the, oh, well, you get the, uh, the the pity of the people if you have the fewest statues, and, um, oh, if somebody actually sc uh, screams into the lead, the people hate them for it. Um, you know, and so suddenly they become less popular, which helps everybody else out. I gotta say, I mean, well, I mean, I guess those are kind of a bit on the nose. They are obviously doing, uh, they're, they're working to ensure that a game stays, you know, fairly even keel and exciting right up until the end. The thing is, they're all very thematically grounded. I mean, it makes perfect sense that, oh, we love the king, he's great. You know, we, we love the duchess, she's great. Make her the queen. And then, oh, she's queen. We hate her, boo, get rid of her. And, you know, I mean, I, I just love those kind of like, you know, sly comments on the, the, fickle nature of, of um, Vox Populi kind of a thing. I mean, I, I, you, know, you don't expect that in a silly, goofy, cartoony, real-time tile-grabbing game, but the game's got it too. There's a lot to like here, and so for me and Jen, um, you know, it's, it's definitely a keeper. That is Tumult Royale. Now, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, please let me know. Uh, sorry for any goofs I made here and there, but hopefully you have a pretty good feel of what the game is like to play so you can decide whether it's right for you. And so, thanks for watching, everybody. Talk to you later. So long. Uh, bye bye